it's Saturday morning. This is Team JoJo's Fishing Curriculum number 11 for uh, November. As you can see, we got quite a few people here today. And, well, you know, talk about bait. I mean, you know, when I posted what I was posted about the spot numbers and zones, this is the result. So whenever you use the right bait, you're going to get results. All right? It's like fishing. We normally have 8, 10 people. It looks like we got about 20, 20 something people here. Hopefully, I'll get this out and everybody gets something out of it. Okay, this, this is Team JoJo's uh, fishing map. It shows the various zones that we fish out of. And this is what we talked about at uh, Team JoJo's fishing curriculum section, session uh, number 11. Uh, people want to know how to how to learn Delacro, what, how to fish Delacro, what to do. So what we did was I, I went through here and explained to them that what we have is uh, Team Joe's got uh, five zones that we fish. He's got Zone One, which is Grand Lake area. Uh, zone Two, which is uh, North Salt Pipeline, and Zone Three is is the Spider Pipeline, and then Zone uh, Four is um, Point Lahash area and stuff like that, and then uh, Zone Five up here is uh, west of uh, east east of North uh, uh, Twin Pipeline, east of Twin Pipeline. So we got five zones: one, two, three, four, five. Five zones by Terry Buff. Oak River f from Orange Bayou all the way out to uh, Oak River Bay. Is, is another boundary that's our boundary so so <clears throat> zone uh, zone one boundary is right here north south pipeline little lake alligator pass grand lake orange bayou all the way back to uh the north south pipeline uh, zone two would be east of the north south pipeline and west of the uh, spider pipeline and again oak river is the boundary over here Zone three would be east of the uh, um, uh, Twin Pipeline, and then uh, west of the I'm sorry, east of the Spider Pipeline, and then west of of the Twin Pipeline. That would be Zone three. Uh, you can see by the red line the various zones, but where I cut my teeth at 62 years ago, or 1962, I started fishing Delacro. And a friend of mine named Buddy Fredericks, uh, he, he had a gas station on St. Rock and Galvez, and we lived right across the street, St. Rock and Galvez. I was 17 years old. I met him, and he took me fishing out of uh, Delacro. And he had, a, he had a wooden hull, and he wasn't a very adventurous guy. I mean, he had a few spots he liked to fish. 15 up here was one of his favorites, and also 14. Fifteen would sit there most, mostly all day. He'd have his Vienna sausages and crackers, and we'd sit there and wait for the fish to come to us. But when I got out of the military in 1966, I finally you know, got a boat and started doing my own thing and started identifying different areas to fish. But still, I stayed in zone, zone two, which is this right here. So the majority of my fishing time for many years was this zone two. And then I expanded into Zone 1 and then over to Zone 3. Zone 4, uh, maybe 15, 20 years ago, my nephew brought me over to Zone 4, which is, I call it Point Lahash area. And I fished that a few times, uh, but had good success, but it was just another area to try to learn. And then I went over to Zone 3 which was uh, over here by Bay Shallow up in that area. <clears throat> so my three primary zones was one, two, three. And I fished out for many, 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 many years, caught many, many, many fish. But due to the river water being developed and coming in from Mardi Gras Pass and made its way into Oak River over here, uh, and then eventually it, it got all up into zone one, two, and three. I figured I had to, you know, start looking for another area. So about three years ago, I started fishing Zone 5, which is this big area over here, includes Lake Robin, you know, all the way up to uh, up here to Grand Lagoon. I started fishing that area. I started putting numbers together, trying to figure out how to fish it, where to fish it, and everything else. 
but what I suggested to the people at the meeting was, if you're not familiar with Delacro, get a Delacro map and mark in red the North-South Pipeline. That's one boundary. Then mark the Spider Pipeline. That's another boundary. And then mark the Twin Pipeline. That would be another boundary. And that way, if you're in Zone 2 and you get mixed up or get lost, you know, if you had... If you head west, you're going to hit the, the north side pipeline, or if you head east, you're going to hit the uh, the spider pipeline, and then you get to find your bearings and get back home. Uh, we also talked a little bit about Bayou Gentilly up here, and I told most of them, if, if you could run Bayou Gentilly right now, you can just about do anything, because Bayou Gentilly, you can't even notice where it's at. I mean, it's just gone. It's there, but it's, it, there's no way of knowing where you're at. And uh, those of you uh, have fished Delta Crow a long time ago and haven't been down there in a while, you won't recognize it. You know, I fish it pretty much three or four times a week, and I still get kind of screwed up a little bit. But mainly what we talked about was, was suggesting that they mark up their map, twin, uh, North South Pipeline, Spider Pipeline, Twin Pipeline. And, and I told them zones uh, one, two, and three are starting to look real good. I mean, the water is, is looking good. It's got salt in it. Uh, I think it's going to be a good year in those areas and, and, and all the old spots. And I've posted uh, spot numbers and narratives of other spot numbers on YouTube, 1 through 25. So, I mean, it, it should be, uh, it should be uh, easy to find the spots. Uh, one, one and two is right here. That's the first spot I ever fished. That's the second spot I ever fished. Spots 16, 16 and 17 is that's Point Fiend. There's the North South Pipeline. Cuts right through it. 16 and 17. We fished that today. Um, you know, over here, five and six. Spot five and six. You can't always see it. It can't get any bigger. It gets messed up. But that's five and six right here. Spot 15 over here. 14's right there. Uh, you got spot 57. Maybe most people know the spots, but I just number them so I can keep track of how many fish I caught. I caught in them. Uh, you know, zone 5, I don't have any spot numbers on there yet, but I do have spot numbers uh, that I'm trying to learn and, and uh, figure out how to fish them. May um, Lafouche, uh, we come all the way out here to Deer Island. We fish all this area through here. This is uh, uh, Lake Campo Pass. Pretty little sp good spot right there. It's Lake Campo. Little Cavala, little four by you got yeah, little four horse. Four horse over here. It did the two things I did suggest at the meeting is if you don't know Delacro and, you, and you're going down there and you want to try to learn it, one is to have CTO, you know, uh, sign up for a CTO. Uh, um, I'm lost for words. A, a CTO arrangement where they can come out and get you if you break down. And another one is is to get the Na Navionics app on your phone because it is a map of Delacro and, and you can do certain things with it to uh, help you find out where you're at and which way you need to go. Uh, the auto the auto uh, track is is you can uh, hit hit the little thing on the bottom and it'll tell you where you at. You press your finger right there and you go where you want to go and you press your finger over there. And it'll actually do a, a route for you to get there. I've used that quite a few times. So once again, this is Team JoJo's Zones. Zone 1, Grand Lake, Alligator Pass, Orange Bayou, Oak River. Zone 2, North South Pipeline, Spider Pipeline. Zone 3, Spider Pipeline and the Twin Pipeline. I mean, years ago, people would ask me, do I go here, go there, do I go outside? I tell them my, my boat hits the, the twin pipeline, bounces back, and ain't going any further. And up to my nephew who brought me over there, if I hit Oak River, it would bounce back. I wouldn't go any further. My majority of my fish was done is right through here, zone one, two, and three. So I hope this helps uh, explain what we talked about this past Saturday. Uh, I think we had a great group. I think we had 25 plus people at the meeting. Uh, we put up Team JoJo's map. Uh, and they, they took a bunch of pictures of, uh, of the map that we had there. <clears throat> what we also did was, uh, this is Team, Team JoJo's map of all our spot numbers. And we put this up, we finally got it 
but we can get it on the TV. And we scrolled through and we showed everybody the uh, spot numbers. This is the only map out there that I know of. This is my map, one we've developed over the years. And uh, we, just, we just scrolled through it, uh, different spot numbers, uh, where to fish, how to fish. And as we scrolled through it, uh, the crew was out there taking pictures of, uh, of the di different areas that we fish. Uh, so it was pretty productive along those lines. I mean, they got to find out some new spot numbers that, that I haven't boasted on yet. But uh, we even had a chance to, we, we blew it up, finally figured out how to do that. Not the biggest, uh, what you call it in the world, uh, computer litter, but this. There's 18A, 18, 18A, 18 B, C, D, E, F, you know, um, and as we went, as we scrolled through it, they took pictures of it, 17E, D, 17C, 17B, um, 17A, you know, uh, I've fished all these spots, I know them intimately, I know where the holes are, I know where the drop-offs are, uh, just about everything I know, um, you know, um, uh, 16 and 17 is right down below here. You know, uh, right, oop, go up now. Yeah. There's 16 and 17 in Point Fiend. This, this is the North South Pipeline right up in here. You know, we fished this today. 16 and 17 caught some beautiful trout in 17. There's not many. I mean, it just couldn't find the trout. But anyway, we went through Team Jadil's map, and I mean, they were taking pictures left and right of all the spot numbers so they can, I guess, add it to their map or whatever. But the one thing about the spot numbers is, it's, it's you, you know, you know the right spot, but now you got to figure out how to fish it and, and boat position, which is very, very important in most of these areas, is having your boat position, you know. Um, you know, 51 over here, 51 A, B, C, D. These spots, probably everybody knows about them, but I just mark them so I can put down on my fishing rear 58, 51A, caught 30 trout, 51C, 12 trout, you know. And then as I go along, if I haven't caught, catch anything, I don't put no numbers by it. But I'll, I'll know two things. I'll know my track of how I went out and where I fished, and I'll know how many fish I caught in each spot number. Uh, you know, we... we um, Morn Hill Bay, 50B, you know, this is, this is in the twin pipeline over here, 50, 43E, 43F, 50, it's all good spots, folks, I mean, and mo most of what I'm looking for is deep holes, I'm looking for deep holes, um, I'm looking for drop-offs, I'm looking for edges to fish, now these areas here in red, I probably haven't fished these yet, but I got a mark on here, and I'm going to physically go out there and figure out this right here, 42A. Where's the where's the channel at? How deep the water is? What does it what does it look like when it's in tummy time and the falling time? It takes time, but once you learn the spot, you know you know them. I mean, you can pick one, one of my other spots, and I can I'll know everything about it. You know all the, all the particulars on when to fish it, when not to fish it. We also talked about matching the wind. Uh, you know. Uh, we I like we like the wind in our back when we fish, especially with lures. So if we got you know if we see a project predicted east wind, we know where we're going. We're going to spot five, six, uh, fifty, uh, two A, you know, two B, two C, uh, because that wind is going to be at our back. If it's a north wind, I know I'm going to fourteen and fifteen. Wind will be at my back, and there's a bunch of other numbers. But you, we can look at the map and figure out which way the wind's going and pick our spots the day before. Anyway, uh, I just thought it was, a, hopefully it was a very productive meeting. And uh, everybody had a good time. And uh, a lot of information was shared about secret spots and uh, even uh, uh, techniques.